Hi, this is Roger in Finland, and today we're taking a look at the Zcam E2C VMAN powered compact rig. And for the impatient ones, I have made two other videos about rigging the E2C. The last one I called it the ultimate rig until the next one, and this is the next one. Here we have the small rig cage, which is the same one than before, the minimum or smallest top handle from small rig as well. And then there are a few different things. The first one is that now we have a Arca Swiss plate in the bottom to go with this tiny moment tripod, which I reviewed recently. The monitor is the same port keys, P6, uh, which is very much in line with what the E2C is. A very compact, small, affordable, yet great value for money monitor. Uh, maybe the thing to mention is that it goes with LP6 batteries like the E2C itself. So that's good. And then the main differences between this rig and the last two ones is that I do not have any side handle, mostly because I didn't use them with this camera anymore anyway. Then the way to hook the monitor, which now I'm using this small rig arm, magic arm with friction. And then finally, what I think is the maybe most interesting bit of this rig, which is the battery mount. I wanted to have the V-mount as close as possible to the body and just behind it, but with enough space for the cables. And to do that, I used these small rod extension thingies and then a V-mount plate. This is the short rundown of this compact V-mount powered E2C rig. And now for some more details from the creators of the small rig E2C rig and the ultimate rig for the E2C, until the next one comes, another E2C rig. Does this make me a serial rigger? The cage is the same one than earlier, the small rig cage. Uh, you might find some links to some of these pieces down below and uh, some of them are affiliate. So up to you to decide if you wanna help the channel that way. The top handle is this small one from small rig. I believe it's the smallest one they make. It is bolted on top of the cage and it does its job. Any bigger handles truly look ridiculous on top of the E2C, but this one works well. And the thing that I use this the most is to transport it and move it around. And it just works. And it does its job fine. One of the biggest and main differences between this rig and the previous two that I posted is that I do not have any side handle. In the first rig, I had that really big, bulky, yet really compact to the body um, small rig handle. In the second one, I had one of the a bit further away handle. But the truth is that I do not use side handles with the E2C. Rolling shutter really jittery movements because it's so tiny, I don't use it handheld. If I can hold the camera, meaning that it's not on a tripod or on a stable surface, basically it's sitting on my lap on top of a pillow and I do not need that side handle. That's the reason why I got rid of it. Then we have the monitor, which is the Porky's P6. It's a very, very much a non-fancy monitor. It's a bit smaller than many others, but it just fits once again the E2C very, very well. And it does everything I need, including waveforms, which is a nice tool that helps me expose. Another thing that I like from this monitor is that it can be powered with both NPF batteries on LP6. And if you have plenty of NPF running around, that's good. If you have a bunch of LP6, for instance, to power the Zika Me 2 c as well, then that's an easy solution on how to rig this one. The HDMI cable has angle connectors in both sides, this one and then in the camera side as well. And it is from Alvin's cables, which I put Definitely recommend not just because of the quality, but the customer service that they are offering. Not sponsored, not affiliate, just a happy customer. Then the next thing that could be interesting and you might want to consider is how to mount the monitor. In the previous rigs that I posted and in many other rigs that I have seen, people, including myself, mount those um, ball joints on top of the handle, making this rig very, very, very tall and I just don't like it. I don't like the form factor. I don't like how far away the monitor is from things. I want to have it closer to the body if possible. My solution with the ultimate rig was to use a tiny um, magic arm from small rig plugged on in the front of the cage, but that was still a little bit too high and it was a bit awkward to move around. What I'm using now with the Zika Me2C and also with the S6, which is filming us right now, is to use this magic arm from small rig. This is the short one of the small rig arms. They make a much longer one. And actually what I did is get 
two, a short and a long. Dismantle them and combine them as such. So I have the short arm and the long arm, and this is what I'm using with the S6. But I'm gonna show that in a different video and tell exactly why I did this. But anyway, this magic arm does its job really well. Let me show you why am I liking it and how I use it. Right now, this is a fairly common way for me to have the monitor if I'm filming somebody else or some things. This position and this particular angle, I like it if I'm filming something which is definitely below me, it's easy to take a look at. But now, if I want to put it even lower for whatever reason, I can do that. I can film from above, that's easy. But in many cases, like right now with the S6, I do film myself and I need to see what I'm doing. Now, this is as easy as turning it this way and now the monitor is facing you. The cables are still neat and tidy. This monitor does have the auto flip feature, so I don't need to do anything else than just flip it around. Instead of flipping the monitor in this direction and then the cables need to be longer and you need to be a bit more careful with them. Another way is that if I went or I need to be in the side, and sometimes I do this when filming some b-roll of things like my, like my cooking show with the omelette, then this is how we put it. The monitor in the side, I can film whatever it is from this angle and that's about it. Very, very nice, very, very easy to set up. I'm gonna leave it in my favorite position. I'll put the cable under here and there we go. Another great thing of this particular magic arm is that this join is joined by a rosette, which means that as soon as it's tight a little bit, it holds much, much better than many other magic arms. Small rig are not the cheapest one, even though it's of course a very, very, very affordable brand, but these magic arms look and work fantastically. So this is how I hold the monitor into the E2C, and it's just straight attached into the camera cage, of course. And the magic arm is attached straight into the camera cage and it does not get on the way of the SD card. And now that I mentioned the card, this is another difference between this rig and the previous one. In the previous one I had the Samsung T5, not recommended, I know, but it works well, as my media for the E2C. But since I got the S6, I'm using the E2C for more, I'm not going to say running gun because it would sound like I know what I'm doing and I do documentary and stuff but to do more simple things and the camera is just ready to go anytime and I want it as small, as compact and as easy as possible. So right now I'm just using SD cards and filming with the E2C using H265. And finally from this rig, the part that I think it's more MacGyver is how to mount the V mount battery. The E2C with an LPE6, it lasts for one hour and 45 minutes, which is more than enough for most cases but a VMON battery is going to give you longer battery life and making it the rig a little bit bigger or longer in this direction I feel that it's a bit better form factor to balance on a tripod, to balance on a mini tripod even when it's on the pillow on my lap, this just feels a little bit better. On the very first rig that I did with the E2C, if you remember and if you don't you can check the video or just trust me I had the VMON battery mounted on this side, making the form factor pretty much horrible. In the second rig, it looked a, little, a lot better. The battery was on the back of it, and I had a small dummy uh, VMON plate from small rig attached onto a base plate that was at the bottom of the camera. That base plate is useful if you're going to be using 15 millimeter rods for mounting other things or a follow focus or something like that. But with the E2C. I do not use rods, I do not use a follow focus, and that base plate was basically an add-on, an addition for me to be able to mount the beam on battery in the place that I wanted it. What I wanted to do was get rid of as much stuff as possible. I wanted to get rid of that base plate, I still wanted to have my beam on battery in this position, at this angle, I think that this is the best place for this type of battery, for this camera form factor wise and I thought how to do this. I tried to attach the V mount plate from small rig which is this one here straight into the cage but then this was way too close to the body of the camera and then I did not have space for either the HDMI cable or the power cable. 
So what was the solution? The first part of the solution, once again, was a cable from Albims. And this is the Limo 2-pin rotating to D-tap, which is much smaller, much thinner, and much easier to manage than this gigantic thing. So this is the cable that comes from Zcam with the camera, both with the e 2 and the S6. But this coiled massive thing, it just looks ridiculous around the e 2 C. I I actually got the same cable for the S6 as well, but we're gonna check the trick at some other point. Now, the next thing was the HDMI cable. This is the Alvin's also angled, which means that with both angled HDMI and power cable, I don't need to go as far away from the body as with some other cable solutions. Still, how to get the plate a little bit farther away from the body. So what was the solution? Use these extension thingies that go from quarter inch to three eighths. Then you need this male to male thingy as well. And basically the three eighths go here. This bit can then be attached to the bottom of the cage. And into this side, you can just attach this small rig plate. Let me show it to you a little bit closer. So these things go attached into the cage itself. And then the small plate goes attached to these things. You'll notice also that the plate is upside down. And once again, this is purely from form factor perspective. And let me show you why this thing needs to be upside down with this rig. This is the FX Lion Nano 1, which is a really small compact battery, which actually goes really well with this camera for the form factor perspective. And if I have it this way, when mounted, it goes pretty much at the height, both on the bottom and on the top, that I would really, really want for this type of rig. And that's it. Because this small rig plate is a dummy one, then I just need to plug the DTAP cable straight into the battery, which does have a DTAP port. And we're good to go. I'll actually roll it a little bit from a little bit of cable management and here we are. The rig, V-mount battery, Alvin cables, MacGyver solution to put the V-mount plate in there, magic arm for small rig to mount the monitor which to me has been one of the best changes I've done in these rigs and then everything else are small rig parts. The last thing before we close this out is then the plate under the camera. So what I have now is a Arca Swiss compatible plate. It's also the small one from small rig that attaches directly into the cage. The reason is that I don't really need my Manfrotto big fluid head when I use this camera much, unless I need it in that case. But then this small moment tripod has been fantastic for this setup with this camera. You can see the review in some other video. And that's the reason for this Arca Swiss. And one last thing from this Arca Swiss perspective, let me get this. If I need to mount this camera or any other cameras that I have an Arca Swiss plate in the bottom and I need to mount them on my Manfrotto um, fluid head, this is what I use. So this is just a Manfrotto plate under it with a riser thing from small rig with here the Arca Swiss uh, plate on top. The main reason to use this riser in here, by the way, is just so that this is easy to operate when mounting a camera and it's not just touching the plate, just comfortableness. But this is the solution to mount an Arca Swiss plate onto my Manfrotto tripod. And this is it, my E2C rig that I'm the happiest the most right now. It has solved all the complaints that I had with the previous one about how to mount the monitor, with a system that it's easier to move in the positions that I need, which is this one flipped up to the front here on the side. I wanted to be able to have the V-mount battery mounted close enough to the body without adding too many pieces and with all the cables neatly tied and getting rid of the massive coil. I accomplished that as well. And the last thing to mention is the lens that I'm using the most with the Zika Me 2C is this one, the Laoba 70 mm f1.8, just because I like it very much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And we're gonna see you soon for some more content. And who knows, maybe the content will be about another rig on the news. Okay.